shares her story of survival as she clung to her newborn. Yeah, the tornado in New Orleans East ripped the trailer. She was in to pieces. It was a normal day for Amanda Stockfeld, who works at this impound lot, now damaged and destroyed. Normal outside of the fact that because of a doctor's appointment, she had her two-month-old daughter with her at work. And then in an instant, their lives were turned upside down. I heard the sound of a freight train, and I was holding her. Uh, all I could think of was putting her back in her car seat. So I put her in her car seat. I buckled her up. I put her underneath the, my work desk. I crawled underneath there with her. I locked my arm around the handle of her car seat. Within moments, that stock felt huddled under her desk with her daughter and another coworker. Her worst fear unfolded with unyielding fury. We heard the trailer coming apart. And then we flipped over backwards. And then it's like the trailer exploded and me and the baby went flying through the air. And I saw the sky, the inside of the vortex. I saw her in her car seat above my head. And then we hit the ground. As the young mother flew through the air, she gripped tightly to her newborn. As mother nature devoured steel and tore through buildings, tossing her relentlessly she had one thing on her mind. Don't let go. Just don't let go. That's all I could think about was don't let go. I couldn't think of anything else because I, I knew if I let go, I wouldn't have been able to find her. Tonight, Stockfelt and Little Autumn are at home, safe and relaxing. Their only problem now, how to replace this Jeep. Their only mode of transportation completely destroyed in the tornado. Reporting in New Orleans East, Rob Krieger, Fox 8 News.